Hello and welcome to this spoken tutorial on how to use the low-cost FOSSE netbook piloted at IIT Bombay. In this tutorial, we will learn about the desktop of the FOSSE netbook, some of the programs that it comes with, and how to update its operating system with newer releases. We refer to it as the FOSSE netbook because the FOSSE team came up with suitable specifications for it tweaked the operating system, came up with a software distribution, and provides updates and training. The operating system is derived from the latest release of Ubuntu Linux. The FOSSE netbook is a low-cost laptop piloted at IIT Bombay, manufactured to its specifications by Basics Comtech Private Limited, has been designed for education and research, and costs about Rs. 5,000 plus customs, taxes, etc. To record this tutorial, I am using a FOSSE netbook, FOSSE distribution of the GNU Linux operating system, and Kazam screen recorder version 1.4.5. Let's now have a look at the FOSSE netbook. This is what the FOSSE netbook looks like. It is about 700 grams in weight, it has a 10-inch display and a touchpad, has a front camera and two built-in speakers. It has two regular USB ports, one mini HDMI port and one LAN port. It has individual headphone and mic jacks for audio support. It also has an SD card slot that can support up to 32 GB. It has a 5000 mAh battery. It gives about 4 to 8 hours of backup depending on the program used. It has 1 GB RAM and 8 GB ROM. It also has Wi Fi and Bluetooth support. For more details about the hardware specifications, please visit netbook.fossi.in. For recovery, update, reinstallation of Fossi OS, user should do the following. Prepare the SD card with instructions provided in netbook.fossi.in slash recovery. Power off the Fossi netbook. Insert the SD card in the slot and then long press the power key. The screen should show a text message entering recovery mode. Select the appropriate option shown in the next screen. What you see here is the desktop of the FOSSE netbook with the FOSSE OS. By default, you will see some icons on the desktop. As with any computer, double-clicking on any icon will open the related application. Here, at the bottom right, is a network connection icon. Currently, it says no network connection. Let's learn how to connect to a network. For Wi-Fi connections, Simply click on the icon. A list of already available connections are displayed. You can connect to any one of them, provided you know the Wi-Fi network password. I will choose one of the available networks on my machine. And then, type the password and click on Connect button. Notice the network icon in the system tray. The icon has now changed. It mentions the name of the network that I am now connected to. Let's now turn our attention to the bottom left corner of the desktop. Here, we find the Start menu, which is the main menu. The Start menu lists all the available software and applications in a categorized manner. Click each category to know which software or applications are listed. Let us look at some of them. Education category has all of these applications listed. Here we have GeoGebra. This is an outstanding free software to learn the concepts of algebra and geometry. It is especially useful for students from 6th grade onwards. The Spoken Tutorial project has created excellent tutorials to learn GeoGebra. These are available through spoken-tutorial.org free of cost. You can see what this link looks like in the browser window. 
and you can also see that these tutorials are available in many Indian languages. There are many more such free software on the netbook with spoken tutorials on this page. I will show them shortly. Let's come back to the start menu. Let's see another software, JMOL. This is very useful for viewing chemical structures like molecules, bonds, etc. in 3D. The Spoken Tutorial website has tutorials on JMOL in many languages. In the start menu, let's look at another category, say graphics. Here you can see GIMP, Inkscape and XFIG. There are many spoken tutorials on GIMP. Inkscape and XFIG on the Spoken Tutorial website. You can use these tutorials to learn how to use these graphic software. Let's look at Internet category now and these are the options available here. Here we have Firefox web browser and here are the spoken tutorials to learn how to use Firefox. Once again, these are available in many Indian languages. Under the Office category, we have the entire LibreOffice suite. Writer, Calc, Impress, Base, Draw and Math. We have tutorials to learn the entire LibreOffice suite on the Spoken Tutorial website. Let's move to the Programming category. Here we can see IPython. There is a Python series on the Spoken Tutorial website. We also have Scilab here. Once again, we have tutorials on how to learn Scilab on the Spoken Tutorial website. We have some IDs too, like Code Blocks and Genie. Spoken tutorials for these are not yet available. But, if you do an internet search, you will find useful learning material on these also. Let us look at the applications available under Sound and Video. So, we have Audacity which is used to record audio tracks. And here are the tutorials to learn to use Audacity. Preferences has options to customize the desktop, keyboard, monitor, network, etc. Let's click on Customize Look and Feel option. We are in the Widget tab by default. Here, one can change the default theme of the displayed windows. Choose the theme that you prefer from the given list. We will learn about all the other tabs and their options in detail in later tutorials. Logout is the option to use to either shut down, lock the screen or log out. Let me click on the cancel button. The icon next to the start menu is the shortcut to the desktop. Let's click on it. It iconifies all the open windows and displays only the desktop. Now on the desktop, let us look at some of the icons. Here we have the terminal. This is the command line interface. To learn how to use the terminal, please refer to the BOSS Linux Spoken Tutorial series. The file manager functions like the My Computer option in Windows OS. You can navigate to any folder or file from this window. The Software Center helps to install all the software that we want. Language Support lists all the languages supported by the FOSSI OS. Notice a PDF named Readme on the desktop. Please open this PDF and read it. It gives you a brief overview of the netbook. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial on how to use the FOSSI netbook. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NNEICT, MHRD, Government of India. 
more details on this mission is available at this link. This is Nancy Verkey from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.